Hey YouTube, it's Mr. Motor Kid. I'm going to be doing a quick video today. Seeing as I've started a competition on who can make the best motor, I'm going to do a video on how to make a motor. How to make this type of motor. Things you'll need is some copper wire, some bigger wire to go across, a battery obviously, uh, a magnet, Make sure it's not like a two pole magnet, just get some neodymium magnets like, like the ones here. Although this motor's been screwed up now because the blue tack that was holding the magnets on let go and it's stuck itself to the coil. Um, and obviously you need some wood as a stand. Now, what I did first, or my dad as well, is we made this coil. This is the bit that turns. Now, Obviously we made this by getting some thin copper wire and turn and basically twisting it round and round until we ended up with this. Now this came from an, from another a real motor, so we had to scrape one side um, of we had to scrape some of the lacquer off one side because these real motors have a lacquer over the windings so they don't short out so that worked as like a commutator so the motor spins the magnet I used was from a dead motor the one I killed um, just held on with blue tack got these neodymium magnets as well now this is probably pretty vague you need some wire clamps too to hold the wire in place. Now, it's probably going to take a bit of fiddling around to get these things running because they need to be in balance. And with wire as thin as this, which I use, it's kind of hard to make it balanced properly. If you use thicker wire, it's a bit easier because it stays in the holes better, but you need bigger holes, obviously. The wire's a little bit burnt on this one on the edges where all the voltage has been going through. And it's also advisable not to touch the wires as it's operating because I don't know if you can see but I've got some electrical burns on there where I was <laughs> stupid enough to um, touch the wire when it, was, when it was running. That happened about two weeks ago and it still hasn't healed yet. Now as for batteries. I just use 1.5 volt batteries like this Duracell Plus C type battery as well as these D type ones that um, have long since died so um, if you use a bit b bigger battery like 12 volts or bigger it will probably start sparking and maybe even smoking as it did when I was running it off an 18 volt battery so here's a pretty rough video on how to make one of these electric motors. See you next time.